So a lot of times I get phone calls from uh, people that are on federal probation or, or federal supervised release, and they say, my probation officer won't let me travel appropriately, or they won't let me work a certain job, or they have us, they've imposed uh, geographic restrictions that aren't fair, or they're preventing me from earning a living, or, or they won't let me see my family, and the list goes on and on. So uh, the first thing I recommend is that, because I used to be a, a probation officer, is that I recommend that you allow me to contact uh, the probation officer, and this basically is true for either state or federal, but the, the first thing I try to do is I try to contact the federal probation officer and try to convince that person um, that my client needs uh, to have uh, looser rules for his or her supervision. And sometimes the, the probation officer is able to change the rules because they are rules that are at her his discretion. Other times they're rules that have been set down by the court and it requires court permission. But as a general rule, the first step is I always try to talk to the, the probation officer or the supervisor because if I can go ahead and uh, effectuate my client's desires, then um, and change the conditions, then one, it's a lot faster. It's obviously a lot faster to have the probation officer change the rules because she or he can do it from her desk uh, rather than filing a motion, going to court, having the U.S. attorney respond, having the probation department respond, uh, writing a response there, then to their, <laughs> to their answer to my motion and then setting another court date. This can obviously be very involved and it's actually a lot, and it's obviously a lot more expensive for the client. So the first thing I recommend is allow me to try to negotiate with the probation officer or the probation department and see what that can get us. Then if it becomes possible that they can, oftentimes I've had uh, probation officers uh, say, yeah, you know, we didn't think of it in this light or we didn't have this piece of evidence or this documentation that your office has provided me. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll allow the person on federal supervised release or probation to now be able to start to do X, Y, or Z. Uh, clients obviously very happy because they've gotten what they wanted and they got it at a reasonable price and it happened expeditiously.